Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate and welcome back to a brand new Adventure Quest World Fresh Start V2 free to play episodes. Now apologies in the last episode for the confusion. Man, I got the title wrong, the video wrong, even the character wrong, got the thumbnail all mixed up. So yeah, apologies on that one, it is all sorted now. But today in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Alice in Chains of music event. Alice in Chains video game a battle concert in both Adventure Quest Worlds and Adventure Quest 3D. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the design notes because essentially it's saying here that it's um, it's here for three weeks and basically you can get all of this loot here I'm pretty sure. The special event VIP collection I think it costs real life money but for sure you can get some really nice stuff here. Um, there's some new classes that you can get as well so um, where is it here? So concert arena rewards you can get the unchained rock star and grunge rocker classes now i don't know if they are brand new classes or if they are like the other ones um for the last event but it says talk to johnny tracks the concert merch vendor to see her merch shop full of all new concert outfits and weapons but then it says after you completed the event story take on the floating coffin boss to get even more reward drops and there's some house ones there as well so that is exactly what we are going to do we're going to get straight into the Alice in Chains concert now I've not heard of these people before the event merge shop so we've got the grunge rocker duplicate of metal okay so these ones are the same as the last ones you can see here the new metal necro class but we've got the grunge gear which looks really cool you need 10 gold arena coins and one platinum coin so it's kind of like the same vibe as last time. You've got some glow sticks, got some grunge hair locks, which is really cool. Um, some speakers there and some for your house, it seems. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what is she saying? The mosh pits are brutal in the best way, you know. Head on in. Uh, the show is about to begin. Okay, so there's no actual like, quest or anything, it seems. So enter the arena. We've got the Alice in Chains concert right now. We just unlocked the quest complete for showtime gonna show a cutscene here I will just skip it because I'm only doing that because it lags really badly so here we go to a banish a banshee so we've got some ground is there okay so there's only one way to banish a banshee make contact with it and find out what it wants I heard the roadies say that they saw in the uh, rafters while they were setting up so let's look for it here first so uh, is it up here it's very laggy yeah okay cool so I've managed to find it and there's the Banshee there I believe yeah and now he's disappeared so the only issue with these sort of concert ones is that it's very laggy there's got a lot of animations going on in the background and stuff like that um, that's a very cool set by the way I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get something like that and that is the Banshee there really cool but yeah I love this sort of casual wear look in this sort of game so let's go ahead and Click on next. When the banshee was in my head, I could see who she was, the ghost of songs unsung. Okay, so I've managed to find the second bit of questing here. So, remains of a song, fear. So, song killed by fear. I'm not entirely sure what it's getting me to do here. So, let's have a quick read because, yeah, it is. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I've done it. <laughs> Never mind. I've completed that quest. That's fine. Quests. I'm not sure if I'm being attacked. It doesn't look like I am in fairness. It's very, very laggy. Um, insecurity. Song killed by insecurity. So I'm just going to have to kill these fellas here again. And uh, try and get three out of three. Now I'm not even sure what's dropping it. I need to read it in fairness. There's two out of three. And uh, I'm definitely going to take these arena coins. Oh, cool. So it's from last time as well. So um, I do have some bronze arena coins apparently in my bank. So... I never actually really used that new um, uh, Metal Necro class. I think I got the, the other version, the weaker one, and I never actually used it on this account. I think it's because now that I've got other uh, better classes, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to say no to those for the time being because if I accept them later on, I will get them back, so that's fine. It, yeah, it doesn't really tell you what you have to do here. So it says, a song killed by envy is constantly compared to songs written by other people and judged harshly for not being the same. It shouldn't be hard to find one of these. Well, I tell you, it's, it's not easy. It's uh, I've killed quite a fair amount of these. and Oh, there we go, finally. Remains of a song, Greed. So, killed by Greed. So, literally, guys, you just have to keep killing these gals, and that's it. 
The Unseen. Now, surely this is a boss. Unseen defeated. It looks like those spooky boys were collecting dead songs for a powerful vampire called the Unseen. And now that we've taken them all back, we've got his attention. Find him in the bleachers and stop him before he drains all of his music fans. Oh, here. This wasn't here before, so it must be this guy. Yeah, and there he is. The Unseen. He looks, he looks really cool, in fairness. Like, fair play to him. Right, let's quickly put on the Chaos Slayer Mystic. And hopefully deal a lot of damage to this guy. Yeah, he's not surviving this. He is not surviving this. It'd be cool if he drops uh, some items. I don't think he would. Uh, okay, and that's that quest completed. And there's another one completed. Now, hopefully there's only three acts and then we can just get straight to it. Because as I've always said, these you know doing these quests are okay. But ideally, you just want to go straight to the boss and get all the nice items. Like, let's be honest. Especially when these quests are very the same, you know, I'm just doing the same thing here over and over again. And this one, um, I'm assuming I just have to go up here like last time and finish the boss. Yep. Wow, that boss looks pretty cool to be fair. Uh, right, let's use Arch Paladin. We've got somebody here as well, so that's going to help out. Perfect. And he's dead already. Nice one. So there's Gold Arena Coin. Won't be able to accept it, I don't think. Vampire Lord class is really good for this. For this area just because they only have 720 health and you definitely want to be making sure that you're getting a hit as soon as they spawn and that's where the vampire lord comes in handy because its basic attacks will attack every uh, monster in the room if there's like three of them um so yeah it's insane okay what's whammy time saying a whammy bar so next up i need you to find a whammy bar just one should do get it from any of the ghosts floating around and there we go oh and we got it straight away Perfecto. That is exactly what we want to see. Everybody in this room is basically doing exactly the same thing as you, so you've got no worries. Uh, they're only, they've only got 700 or 600 health anyway, so anybody should be able to do this. Even a level 1 should be able to kill them, because they're only doing 19 damage, 17 damage to me, so definitely will be able to solo these, no problem whatsoever. Okay, that's what the Reaper looks like. Actually looks insane, to be fair. Looks like death. Um, I've just realized I've not got the correct class on, but it doesn't matter. The uh, Vampire Lord can still deal quite a lot of damage to these sort of monsters. And that one is completed. I'm not sure how many acts there are going to be. This, I'm assuming, is all the items that you can get, which looks really nice. You've got a nice legendary axe of song. It does look cool, to be fair. I'm a big, big fan of that guitar. Ghosts of songs are defeated, so awesome, and this is it. So I'm not entirely sure if this is the last little bit, but I know that once you've completed the storyline, you can then kill the coffin to get even more item drops. So we've got a platinum arena coin. Once again, pretty sure that it's going to say that it's in the bank. Not sure what my character's doing there. Just live in the moment, just enjoying the music. Cutscene, well that wasn't the ending I was expecting. I hope they've had fun on tour. Uh, maybe I should get into the business of matchmaking monsters with musicians. Oh, there's the coffin there, look. Wow, look at that. Lawmaster Disciple Armor, edgy punk back guitar, elegant vampire wings. We've got some coins there. Um, this all looks good, but it also kind of seems like it's the, uh, the same loot as everything else in the last event. We're just going to make sure to see if that is the case. Dragon Disciple Armor... Edgy punk shave female moth. Now, I don't want to get disconnected because I'm accepting quite a lot of stuff here. We should be alright, but uh, we'll just double check to see what's actually going on. So, we, we just literally got so much stuff. So, the edgy punk shaved female looks really cool. I rate that. Uh, we got the elegant vampire locks, which is unfortunately members only, so we won't be able to use those. Um, but we're just getting so much stuff here. Look at this. Just more and more and more stuff here. So the edgy punk, so we looked at that, the edgy punk, okay, without the face, the unchained rocker hair, vampire guard bob, vampire guard messy hair, ponytail. We've also got the pink guitar. Oh, sorry, punk guitar. I was gonna say, that's not pink at all. Um, elegant vampire wings. Okay, so that lore master disciples thing we can't accept. We've got the elegant vampire wings, which are members. Wow, they actually look insane, though, to be honest. That looks really, really nice. The shame that they're members. Um, and then we also got the dragon disciple armor. 
okay and that is it so far so how does one get this new stuff then golden arena coin we also got another platinum one which is sick okay cool so we've managed to get all the coins required how do i get out of here here it is there's the exit door okay cool so if we go on to the arena coin merge you can also get stuff here to get a metal badge and the rock token for the class but that's not what we're going to be getting we're going to be getting the grunge gear that looks so cool so that's interesting it's not actually color custom so i'm going to take a quick look at the design notes again and actually what how do we get this stuff here so cool so as you can see guys i managed to get the chained mosh pit champion badge so that's one added to my little badge list but we're just going to go ahead and kill this this floating coffin a few more times just to see if i'm missing out on anything okay to confirm it's called the edgy punk outfit and it does drop from the coffin so we're just gonna have to keep grinding it out guys have to keep fighting this coffin and hopefully it will drop but at least i now know it's called the edgy punk outfit and there we have it guys the edgy punk outfit let's go take a look oh we can't accept that one that's fine i don't care <laughs> don't care about that anyway i just care about this edgy punk outfit if i'm being completely honest I want to do this quickly guys, we'll go take a look at this new armor, we'll take a look and make a new set. Now I already know what colour I'm going to go for with this edgy punk outfit. It's not going to be this purpley colour, it's going to be a nice blue like that. Uh, let's see. That one. Oh, ooh, I don't know, the, there's too many blues to choose from. I reckon that one. That looks insane. Now the shaved hair. It's cool, but I don't think it necessarily goes with how I want it to go. So uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the Vam, the Priestess Horned. That looks cool. And we also got the Z's Grunge Locks, which looks awesome. Uh, I don't think that's color custom, though, because it was red to begin with. So I don't know. I think overall, let's have a look at some of these. The Grudge Bob and the Ponytail. Yeah, not a fan of those. We've got the Werpire from the last week's event. I think this one here is going to be the cool one. Then if we made our, if we made that blue, uh, yeah, make that blue, make our hair black. Cause it goes so well with this weapon as well, which is what I'm digging right now. But yeah, guys, that is the brand new set that we're rocking with. We've got the edgy punk outfit. It's color custom on there. Really like this set, actually. It's going to be my main set for a little while. We managed to get the, the Chained and Mosh Pit Champion badge there as well. That's going to be it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you want to go grab yourself some really nice items, make sure you go check out this new Alice in Chains event. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Frosty Mate, and I'll see you in the next video, take care.